Escursion, welcome to the show. We are under the lights as the show now, gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming Seattle. up, we've got a good matchup in store Mariner. between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Taiwan Walker gets the ball for Seattle in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, if you're looking for Achilles' heel from this pitcher, this jumps right out at you. Right-handed batters are hitting over 300 on the season against this guy. That's something he's going to have to improve on if he expects to pitch well in this one. Standing in, batting Lou four. Gehrig he comes in today, good. leading the American Number League in four. batting for the season. Yeah, he's right in the prime of his career right now. These are the years you really expect to see the best of Let's what this guy right has here. to offer. First pitch of the at-bat. A One ball of no strikes. And, fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation a where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides like. to close the doors for a second, but this team has not let's played go, well. They it's find right themselves here. losing lately. They lost hey, the last go, game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two, two strikes. strikes here. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Scooped up. Ah, go, LeMahieu at third with two away. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Here's the one two. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Come on, big and stay out up there, kid. The set and the one two, and it's fouled away. Hey, have an hey, A.B. right now. here. I know it's Nobody frustrating better. the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. He pulls this one into right. Buner is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. The Yanks leave one. It's the Yankees nothing. Mariners coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Babe Ruth gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball when we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs. This guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most importantly, he's not afraid to throw strikes. And we'll see how he does in this one. Now batter. At the plate, Lou Gehrig. Two on, two out for him here in the third. That boy. First pitch on its way. Count one. Ball one. Third inning, no score to this point. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Well hit to right, but foul. Hey, let it fly out there, huh? Ready with the 1-1. One, one. No offer two. on that one. Two balls and a strike. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Two men are on with two men out. Ball 
Ball even at two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. The 2 2 pitch. Three and two. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. The payoff pitch on the Come eighth on, pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Ready for another chance. Lou on, Gehrig yeah, and the runners Jump at the corners four. now. Here comes the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. One run, one six time, hits, right and no errors for the Yankees so far. This one's right outside. Down. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement right like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. Mine to the right Find side. The ball. Find the ball. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Good job right there. That's a good at bat. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Don Mattingly will bat yeah, next. The first 0 for 2 for him to this point. Don. Already 24 Mattingly. pitches to this point in the inning. Softly hit down to third. Likely come no on, shot on, fly, at two. Fly. One there. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Next will be the designated hitter, Lou Gehrig. Singled home a run in his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the chute from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read the that right off the bat the as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know Done. that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, Medically. and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Ladies one left for the Yankees, but they still the lead this one four to two. Correct. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Four to two, the final score tonight. The New York Yankees wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Babe Ruth earns his eighth victory of the season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Mariano Rivera records the save, his 15th of the campaign.
So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, four runs on 10 hits, no errors, they left 10 men on base. For the Mariners, two runs, seven hits, no errors, they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. We are under the lights this evening as and we now, get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the New Mariner. York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. It's Baseball on the Show, and it's coming up next. Nestor Cortez Jr., the Cuban-born southpaw, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Digging in now, Ken Griffey Jr. Cool. He drove in the, the other of their two runs last Ken night. Griffey Jr. Gordon at second, Martinez at first, one gone. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. LeMahieu takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Stepping in, Mickey Mantle. He's always a long ball threat, currently fourth in the American League in that department. Man, this guy's been in fuego lately. A boatload of homers over his last 10 games. Yeah, usually, Dan, guys get hot throughout the course of the season, but not like this. Hot and hot with damage. First pitch of the at bat. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Left fielder looking up. To the track, to the wall, and that baby's gone.
So a solo shot here to left center field, number 22 on the year. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Now to the plate, Mickey Mantle. He went deep right in his field. first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for Mantle. us here. Yeah, that last at-bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Here's the first pitch to him. Here we go now. On its Come way, on the 0-1 pitch. Time. Turned on down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. Stand up, stand up, stand up. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Coming to the plate now, Giancarlo oh, Stanton. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Stanton. The one two. Swung out and belted. A three-run home run for Giancarlo Stanton, number 14 on the season, and it's now 7-4. to four. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby, d -Row. Ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great... Stepping up now, Mickey Mantle. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And he fouls this one off. Fastball well outside. Let her rip up there. Let's go. Fouled off. Hey, like a can up there, huh? See it, driver. Let's go right here. The one two. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Into the box, Mickey Mantle. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. one and Outside one. for a ball, 1 and 1. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. A little early, and now it's even at 2 and 2. And the pitch. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. All right, come on now. One time, let it fly. Hey, 
Hey, here we go. Come on now. One time. Full count. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. Now the payoff pitch home. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Settling in now, Mickey Mantle. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He Here's a fly ball well hit. Junior looks up. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second home run of the game, as the blowout continues. Ready to take his hacks again. Right Mickey here. Mantle as he'll look to follow Mickey. up the two-run homer he launched Mantle. over the wall last time up. This guy's having a pretty good week so Better far in one game. His last at bat is second home run on, of the game. We'll see there. if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A-B. And it's fouled away. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just hey, a bit foul, here. so a missed opportunity there. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a ball, long time down. before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about three, hitting baby, singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. D-Roy, it can't be better said. I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two-strike pitch. No get-me-over curveballs, no get-me-over change-ups. Every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Hey, get your pitch right up there, huh? Let's go, kid. Another 1-2 delivery. Outside, that's a ball. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Two, 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 two. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Wow, the pitcher must be just shaking his head. That pitch wasn't anywhere near the strike zone, but he gave it the old tomahawk chop and somehow connected with it anyway. Now he's standing on second, and he even has to smile about that one. Up next for the Yankees. Giancarlo Stanton now, runner Giancarlo. in scoring position with Sugan. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hey, hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here. Oh, dig, 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 and that's dig, in there, base hit. The and now Gracious, just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. <laughs> Man, this is a perfect summary of how the game has gone for him. They haven't been able to hit, catch, or throw all game long. In fact, they should just throw a 10 over this thing because this has become a three-ring circus. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Hey, now like batting. Like Short stop. Let's go. Glaber. Runners at second and third with two hey, gone. Drive it. Let's go, big dog.
Fastball hit on the ground is short. He's Get out, got slide, it. Slide, slide, come on, slide. Come on, come on. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair, but you can forgive them as they still hold an enormous lead. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 18 to 4 the final tonight. The New York Yankees led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Garrett Cole earns win number seven on the season, striking out 12 in the process. Nestor Cortez Jr. allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Afternoon baseball here on and the now, show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Seattle. New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariner. Mariners. The Yankees will try to wrap up the three-game series sweep, and we'll have it for you next. Yusei Kikuchi, the Japanese left-hander, is tasked with the starting job. What do we need to know here, Danny? You know, Matt, it's awfully tough getting a lot of no decisions as a starting pitcher, but he was able to pick up his first win of the year in his last start. Hopefully, his mojo starts turning around. 
Stepping into the box, Mickey Mantle. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the Mickey American League in that category. Mantle. One of the keys Everybody to being a good player, up. it's not how old you are, but it's how talented and how smart you are. This guy, one of the better young hitters in the game of baseball right now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, had him oh, chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Hey, this is a big one here, Matty. You know what, d -Row? They're about to head on a nine-game roadie. One thing they'd like to do, get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage the last game of this series. Yeah, Dan, they need to find a way to win this one today. Get on the flight. Makes everybody's dinner taste better. Nine-game road trip coming up. A lot of packing involved, a lot of grinding on the road. They need to find a way to win this last one at home. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Now another 1-2. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Up with it, Nola. And that ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. It's the Yankees nothing. Mariners coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Catfish Hunter will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now, he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. The batter, number seven. So digging in now, Mickey Mantle. Mickey. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Mantle. Hey, your pitch, your pitch right now. Here comes the first pitch. Base is empty here with nobody out. Pitch, drive it. And this misses one and the one. outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Let's go, kid. Come on, one time right here. Fly ball out toward left center field. Griffey waits on it. Makes the play one away. All set for the start of the inning at the plate. Mickey Mantle. It was a fly out for him in his Mickey last trip. Mantle. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. Damn. Hey, real keen eye right there. Atta boy. Get yours right here, huh? Drive it up there. High in the air out to center field. Griffey waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans for this Mariner organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Leading off for the Yankees, the designated hitter. Standing in Mickey. now, Mickey Mantle. Mantle. And the slider swung on and chopped foul right at home plate. It's strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Come on, guy. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And he's out yeah. trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Well, he clearly thought he had a shot at two on the hit, but they did a nice job in the outfield of getting it in quick to cut him down. Hey, when this game started, 
there's no way they envisioned relying that much on the back end of that bullpen, but he gets the last five out, sealing the win for the team and collecting the save for himself. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The New York Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Catfish Hunter earns his sixth winning decision in this one. You say Kikuchi couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Tommy Canely hammers down the five-out save, his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, five runs, six hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Mariners, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left 16 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 53 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon.